hello good morning good afternoon good evening welcome to my youtube channel uh, today we are going to talk about fake love the reason why it is very important to spot it out and i advise you one for your life to um prevent future heartbreak okay and these are just like signs or red flags of fake love okay let's dive right into it the first one they try to change you oh ah oh oh that's a very big red flag. When you love someone, you love, you're supposed to love somebody for who they are. You are not supposed to try to change them. You met them like that and according to you, you fell in love with that person. Why do you want to change that person? You understand? You are supposed to accept the person for who. We have seen with time without a number number people trying to change you they can even try to change your profession you understand all of a sudden the man for instance would say oh my god i don't like the way you dress and you met that person dressing like that and that is a sign of fake love and trust me nine out of ten chances it would not last okay the other thing they try to control you they try to control who you hang out with whatever you do they want to control you that is a um a way of showing that they are just interested in what you do for them they are not interested in what makes you happy you understand and that is a very selfish you remember love should not be selfish love is not about me 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 so why do you want to control somebody you understand what i mean that is a big red red flag okay your conversation is as dry as the Sahara Desert, if not more, okay? A lot of people, when they are not emotionally attached to you, they are not interested in long-term relationship, or they are not just interested in you, they don't want to dive deep, you understand, with conversation. Whenever you try to converse with them, it's always shallow. They are not interested in deep conversation with you. That's another flag, red flag, okay? They are constantly over jealous to the extent that they don't have they don't set boundaries they go through your phone all the time reading your text messages and you know sometimes some people get it wrong they think that the person is deeply in love no that is a sign of insecurity that is a sign that they don't trust you at all and what kind of love is that when there is no trust in the love that is a fake type of love it is not necessary and it is not true love okay they don't prioritize you, okay? For instance, there are some relationships where your partner would, you will send text messages and they will not even bother to open it. That means they don't prioritize you. You are not their priority. They are not, they don't care much about you. Whenever you arrange to meet up, they don't turn up and they will give you the flimsiest of excuse. It means they don't care about your feeling. So those are all signs that the love is fake. They are emotionally distant from you. They are cold. When you try to share your feelings, even if you are crying, you are upset. They're not concerned about it. You understand? When you are happy, you share success or anything, they're just like, oh, okay. They're not, they're not, you can tell they're not involved in your emotions. They're not involved in what makes you happy, what makes you no. They're not there for that. So you understand? They are just there for their own selfish reason. That is another sign of a fake love, okay? They are always, they seem to be, they don't plan future things with you. I'm not talking about marriage or having kids. That is not what I mean, okay? I'm talking about things like, for instance, arranging trips together, you understand? Arranging how to meet each other's family, things like that. Whenever you talk about that, they just talk about something else or just avoid it. That means they are not invested emotionally. In, in, in you okay that is a very very big flag okay big red flag okay another thing is they easily give up on the relationship we all know that relationship there are quarrels there are disagreements in a relationship but when one party 
is always saying for instance the slightest of disagreements oh i'm just fed up let's just call it quits and maybe you are the only person always begging asking for forgiveness always working hard to keep the relationship eventually the relationship will break because that is a sign that the person is not interested in you is not invested in you do you understand so they don't even care. <laughs> they don't even care. They can walk out of the relationship and have a heartbeat without thinking about your feelings. You understand what I mean? Another red flag is when you are the always, you are the one who is always investing time, money, energy on the re relationship. And the other person just sits down like this. You understand? You are always investing time. You understand? You always come up with ideas how to spice up the relationship. What should be the next step in the relationship? And the other person is not even bothered. You understand? These are things, these are signs. We have many other signs. And what I want you to do now, please, I want us to engage, okay? Go down to the comment section, leave your own. It might be your own experience or whatever you know, another sign of fake um relationship, or just, just talk or ask questions, okay? So we will debate more under the comment section. Because trust me, uh, when you have invested a lot of time in a relationship, and the relationship just goes south. And unfortunately, the next person is not that interested. It can cause heartbreak. So we need to prevent ourselves. And last but certainly not the least, it is the most important thing, the gut feeling. Sometimes when you meet somebody initially, the spark is just there. You understand? And sometimes when you meet the person, the gut feeling say, oh, this person does not like me. This person is not interested. But a lot of time we'll fight our gut feeling. There is nothing that will fail you. You understand? Your gut feeling is always the best feeling. Go by it, okay? To save you future heartbreak. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Hit the notification button, like and share so that others would learn not only from what I'm saying, from what others would say under the comment section. And last but not least, leave your comments. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.